Day 75, 12th of August. Point of interest, Musgraves Harbour claim to fame is, in 1941, a Canadian doctor, Dr. Sir Frederick Banting, co-discoverer of insulin, died in a plane crash near here. The municipal park is named after him and some of the wreckage and replica of the plane are both at the info centre. He was only 49 years old and had already received a Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1934, the youngest to do so. He was knighted by King George V. Back on the road again, following the coast around to Gambo. Long stretches of beach with the occasional small rocky outcrop. The towns are more modern here than the fishing village coves we've just been to. Larry wants to stop and check the tyre pressures, so we pull into a garage at Badger Quay. Bob was sitting at the table outside, so Larry asks him, how do we go about getting air for the tyres? Where are you from? New Zealand. Come and have a coffee on Bayern. So, we all go into Sweet Delights Cafe and are introduced to the owners, Rick and Teresa, as being from New Zealand. Teresa asked if we liked blueberries and next minute we have hot coffee and fresh baked blueberry tea cakes put in front of us. Our table grew in size as the locals came in for lunch. There was much laughter and great conversation. And in the middle of it all, Larry stands up and does the haka for them. They totally loved it and cheered and clapped. Then one and a half hours later, we ask again about the air for the tyres. Well, that happens to be the business next door and nothing to do with the cafe. Teresa did correct us on the name of the local berry. What the locals call blackberries are actually crowberries. Before we leave, we are strongly recommended to go to Greens Pond, so off we go. Greens Pond is another island attached by a causeway and is one of the oldest settlements in Newfoundland, inhabited since 1697. Also, read about the Greens Pond battery when we get the photos posted, it's very interesting. Now I must explain scruntions. It was developed over time by fishermen who were at sea for weeks on end. They used the salted, dried cod, pickled pork fat and tack. Tack is hard bread that has to be stoked in water overnight before it can be heated and eaten with the meal. I'm so surprised that so many of them lived to their 80s and 90s. We've been to several graveyards because they're full of history and that's what we discovered. Not bad, considering the amount of pork fat these guys ate. But then, they worked hard in very cold conditions. Must get back on the road, but first we must have lunch. Hot local mussels and bread, in RV Cafe of course. We finally reached Gambo and reconnected with the Trans-Canada Highway, then turned north at Port Blandford and started to follow the Discovery Trail up the Bonavista Peninsula toward Bonavista. We reach Goose Bay and call it a day. Only 100 kilometres short of Bonavista, we didn't do too badly with our travelling today considering all our side tracking.